As Commander-in-Chief, my highest priority is the security of the American people. And I've made it clear that those who threaten the United States will find no safe haven. Thanks to our military and counterterrorism professionals, we took out Osama bin Laden, much of al-Qaeda's leadership in Afghanistan and Pakistan, and leaders of al-Qaeda affiliates in Yemen and Somalia. We've prevented terrorist attacks, saved American lives, and made our homeland more secure. Today, the terrorist threat is more diffuse from al-Qaeda affiliates and other extremists, like ISIL in Syria and Iraq. As I said this week, our intelligence community has not yet detected specific ISIL plots against our homeland, but its leaders have repeatedly threatened the United States. And if left unchecked, these terrorists could pose a growing threat beyond the Middle East, including to the United States. So we're staying vigilant, and we're moving ahead with our strategy to degrade and ultimately destroy this terrorist organization. To meet a threat like this, we have to be smart. We have to use our power wisely, and we have to avoid the mistakes of the past. American military power is unmatched, but this can't be America's fight alone. And the best way to defeat a group like ISIL isn't by sending a large number of American combat forces to wage a ground war in the heart of the Middle East. That wouldn't serve our interests. In fact, it would only risk fueling...